Hey, what's going on, future CWIs? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get into these videos, please subscribe and arch strike that like button for more content. Hey, what's going on, future CWIs? In this video, we're gonna talk about the filler well gauge. There might be a lot of videos out there showing you how to use the tool, but not a lot of videos showing you how to apply the tool on the CWI exam and the type of questions that you will encounter. Um, but before we get into the video, Go ahead and check out the new website. You can now purchase my Part B training guide, um, all my practice tests for Part A, B, and C. I even offer a CWI starter package to begin your journey. Uh, www.cwifirsttry.com. Enough about that, let's get into the video. So first things first, without getting into too much detail, the two types of measurements that you do with the fillet well gauge is to check the throw thickness and check the leg length. I highly recommend to purchase these tools in advance before your exam so you can get accustomed using them. So when you're taking your Part B exam, there might be a question or two asking you to measure some sort of fillet weld either on the T-joint or the lap joint. If you have experience being a welder, just by looking at the fillet weld size, you're able to determine what size it could potentially be. Um, instead of filling through all the fillet weld gauge sizes, and you can narrow it down to the correct gauge. But if you don't have experience in welding, um, that's fine. Um, just make sure that you purchase these tools in advance and practice on them. Let's dive into the first scenario. You might encounter a question asking you to verify the size of a fillet weld on a specific section of a T-joint. Here's where it can get a little tricky. They're not asking you to reference Table 1, Section 6 for this particular question. Instead, focus on the weld itself. Since this is a convex fillet weld, you need to measure the leg lengths both vertically and horizontally. Then identify the smallest measurement on the legs. That's the value you use as your answer. So let's get into the second scenario. You might encounter a question asking you to measure the size of the filler weld on a T-joint and to determine its minimum size. The question might even provide you the weld size. Let's say it's 5 16 The first step is to grab the 5 16 gauge and verify the weld size. If the weld is greater than 5 16 there's no reason for rejects according to statement 2.4.2, which states, fillet weld sizes have no maximum. So let's take a look at table one, section six, undersized welds. This statement says, uh, the size of a fillet weld in any continuous weld may be less than the specified nominal size without correction by the following amounts. Uh, so you can see the left side is an example of what the fillet weld size should be or called out. And on the right side is the amount allowed that it can be undersized. Let's take a closer look at how to apply this table in accordance with the book specs. For fillet welds measuring 3 16 or smaller, they are permitted to be undersized by 16 of an inch. This means that a continuous fillet weld specified to be 3 16 can be as small as an eighth inch and still comply with this rule. The same applies for the other two examples. You have a quarter inch fillet weld that can be undersized up to a 332nd, so that means it can be as small as 0.156 and still comply with this rule. Last example, if you have a 5 16 or greater continuous fillet weld, they are permitted to be undersized up to an eighth inch. Remember that this table requires a little math and we have to subtract. So if you do have a 5 16 weld, you can subtract the allowable amount that it could be undersized, which in this case, it's an eighth inch. So that means it can be as small as 0.188, which is basically 3 16 of an inch. Well, there you have it, future CWIs, another video in the books. A quick disclaimer here is that all the content that I create is based on my experience on when I took the exam and how I interpret the book of specifications. Until the next one, my friends.